Now to campaign 2014 and counting down, it's 36 days until New Yorkers elect a governor and the ad wars are turning decidedly ugly. The Republican challenger offering a redo of one of the most famous and controversial political ads ever, President Lyndon B. Johnson's Daisy ad. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. You might say that Republican gubernatorial challenger Rob Astorino is firing up the nuclear option in his battle to unseat Governor Andrew Cuomo. Going on TV with a redo, a takeoff of the infamous Daisy ad used so effectively by Lyndon Johnson to trounce Barry Goldwater 50 years ago. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. These are the stakes. Do we re-elect a governor who may end up in jail? Astorino hopes the controversial ad will help his underfunded underdog campaign get some traction. It's meant to get people talking about the corruption in the state, which has to come to an end. Astorino is trying to make hay with charges that Governor Cuomo is under investigation by U.S. Attorney Pre Pereira for aborting the Moreland Commission that was investigating corruption in the state legislature. Although the U.S. Attorney is looking into Moreland, he has never said the governor himself is a specific target. Do you solemnly swear? Rob Astorino is at the center of a federal investigation into discrimination in Westchester County. And although he is far ahead in the polls, Cuomo has also gone negative against Astorino, using his mega war chest not only to imply Astorino has corruption problems of his own, but problems with policy, too. Do you believe we should cut dental services for seniors on Medicaid? Rob Astorino does. He's even laughing about it. If dentures are not covered, then how do you chew? I'm just saying. <laughs> Soup is good. <laughs> The two are also bickering about debates. Astorino wants eight around the state. Cuomo has agreed to just two. He wants the one that's a mano a mano contest with Astorino in New York City to be limited to radio. The fact that he refuses to have a debate on television just shows that he is absolutely deathly afraid of answering questions. Well, the governor was not available for comment. He gets back to New York tonight after a trip to Afghanistan. The Astorino Daisy ad will air just once tomorrow. And on the debate question, so far, there's no agreement. Dana? And the days are getting closer and closer. Indeed, but we'll have to wait and see whether they actually talk. Do it right. All right, thanks, Marsha.